Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com. Uh, please subscribe, hit that join button, join our membership. Uh, <laughs> okay, so yesterday was an ASCII day. Uh, we had, uh, well, we had snow on Friday, we had bitterly cold winds yesterday, uh, at one point I looked at the thermometer or my, the weather forecast on my phone, uh, the AccuWeather app, and, uh, it was like 18 degrees or 16 degrees with a feel of minus eight. So we were in the negatives, uh, with the wind chill yesterday. Uh, it was nasty, um. So, I really didn't get anything accomplished yesterday outside, like I was kind of hoping to do. I was hoping that, you know, we'd had the snow on Friday, and then yesterday, yeah, it would be cold, but I could at least, you know, get out and do some stuff in the yard. But no, with that wind chill, mm, uh-uh. Uh, so I stayed in. Didn't accomplish a lot yesterday. Um... Did a few things, you know, found found our tubs for the, the uh, for chicks, um, because we are thinking about getting some more chickens, um, because now is the time to buy uh, chicks and raise them, and, and then we can add them to our flock, um, but, uh, you know, I had to dig through the attached garage and find stuff. Uh, luckily, I had not finished uh, cramming stuff into that area, so I was actually able to get to the back corner where I had this stuff stored. Um, but I got that stuff out, and yesterday all sorts of drama started. Actually, it started on Friday, that's right. Uh, all sorts of stuff started happening. We had somebody post a photo of our house to, uh, Google, and Facebook. and Facebook. Now, we had blocked Google Maps. We had blotted out the house on Google Maps um, because we didn't want the front of the house showing on Google Maps if somebody searched for it. Um, this was it's a privacy issue. We just we did not want the house visible. Uh, but this guy, you know, pulled up across the street and took a photo of our house. Um, we have no idea why, other than he posted, you know, basically saying, you know, what's up with this house, you know, it looks bad. And people started commenting, saying how bad it looked, uh, talking about how the roof needed to be fixed, uh, because in the photo, uh, our metal roof um, that we had replaced in 2018, or actually we had a slate roof replaced and replaced it with a metal roof, brand new metal roof in 2018. Okay. With a 50 year warranty. Yeah. 50 year warranty. So if, if there was damage, we could get it fixed without a problem. We had an old chimney that came up through the center of the house. Okay. When we had the metal roof put on, we had the chimney knocked off at the top. Okay. So they covered over where the chimney was. During the winter time, warm air from the house goes up that chimney and has, you know, a little bit quicker access at that spot on the roof. So the snow melts away faster. We have a bare spot on the roof where when we have snow. And it looked in the photo because there had been snow Friday morning. And that's when the person took this photo. I could tell because of the snow, I could tell exactly, you know, it was after I had left for work that this person snapped a photo. But that warm spot on the roof where the chimney is made it look like there's a hole in the roof. There isn't. And as soon as the snow melts away, you know, like today, the roof is fine. So, no problems with the roof. Yes, we had that big snowstorm had a huge pile of snow on the roof. Um, it's a metal roof. It's got a steep pitch. When that snow started moving and sliding off of the roof, it all came at once. 
It came down on top of me. <laughs> it came down at once. And, and it, it hit, knocked me down. Yeah, well, it hit that gutter, and it nearly ripped the gutter completely off the house. Okay, it's still attached at both ends, but the middle of it is sagging because a whole pile of snow came sliding down, hit that gutter, and just ripped it down. Okay, I haven't had a chance, because it's still winter time, to get back up there and fix it. And I was, we've had high winds every single weekend. Yeah, today was still high winds, not as cold. I mean, it got up to like 50 degrees out there, and I was, I was hoping I'd be able to take advantage of it. But the winds, there's no way I'm getting on a ladder in that kind of wind. It was, it was ridiculous. But I looked at it. I figured out what I need to do to fix the guttering. Okay. I just need a nice day where I can get up there and, you know, have someone out there with me to hold the ladder because, well, the ladder has to go on the ramp. So it's at an angle. Not a good thing with a ladder, but I can, I can, I've got ways of, of, adjusting the ladder so that it will be mostly stable. <laughs> mostly stable. But, you know, I've got to get up there. I've got to have nice weather, nice conditions, no high winds um, to be able to do it. So instead of fixing the gutter today, okay, I went out with the weed eater and I did some weed eating to knock down some of the weeds, knock down the dead stuff that was on top of everything, um, you know, the, the, the grasses um, that she grows, the, the, the native grass, and, you know, some of the, the, the taller uh, plants, you know, stuff that, that puts out a big stalk uh, that dies off. I knocked all that stuff down, okay? Took another photo that I'm going to post to Facebook. Um, basically, exact same angle. Or, or close to it, and looks a lot better. Because I just hadn't had a chance to get out there yet, because it's still winter time. I'm not getting out there and mowing yet, you know. I mean, the day that he took the picture, there's snow on the ground. I'm not getting a lawnmower out and mowing with snow. Um, but today, it was nice enough. There's no snow. Got out the weed eater. Not the lawnmower, just the weed eater. You know, line trimmer. Knocked stuff down, because I've got a really nice line trimmer. Um, and just, you know, cleaned up. But it was, you know, I hadn't had a chance. We've had some really nasty weekends. The one weekend recently that was really nice, I was working on something else. Um, <laughs> you know, I was taking advantage of the nice day to do other projects. Um, which included working on a couple of downed trees with my chainsaw trying to get them cut up and moved out of the way so that, you know, I can do other stuff. Um, but there's, I mean, there's a lot of projects to do. There's a lot, of, you know, and not a lot of time. And especially with it still being winter time. Yes, we've had some nice days, but a lot of it's been during the weekday when I'm working. So I can't take as advantage of some of it. We just had daylight savings time. So it's going to stay lighter later in the day. So when I get home in the evenings, I've got a little bit more daylight. So I might be able to do a little bit more during the week. But there's a lot to do. And, you know, there's only so much that I can do at a time. So, but, you know, whoever this guy is and if whatever his, his agenda is, you know, he's, he's trying to, you know, tear us down, trash the house you know, say that it needs to be condemned. You know, there was a whole bunch of, of people getting on commenting and just, you know, going, to going mayor, at us, saying they're going to go to the mayor, put a petition. petition. Um, <laughs> hate to tell you, we're in the county. Um, <laughs> so there were a bunch of people letting people know yeah, that we, they we were had, out of line. We had friends and, and new friends that were, you know, saying, you know, commenting in our favor. And I was blocked. <laughs> yeah, Sherry was blocked. I to post in the group, which was really funny, because I posted in that group before, but all of a sudden me and Sarah were unable 
to put a single post up. It all was held, and yeah. then my posts were just deleted. Yeah, so... So that was very fishy. Yeah, but, you know, th this is, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens next. Um, he, he went, him or someone went on Google and said that we were permanently closed because Google sent me an email yeah. asking me to let them know what was going on. Right. So he's, he's trying to get us shut down. Yeah. Um, but I also took down the sign that we had made last fall, um, or was last summer, I think. It was, I think it was last spring. Okay. Last spring or summer, um, we had made a sign, you know, of exotic gardening farm and, uh, wildlife habitat and put it out front. Well, unfortunately it did not weather well. Uh, it did not make it through the winter and it looked bad, but I hadn't done anything with it yet. So today I went ahead and took it down. Um, I plan on putting a new sign up. We just have to figure out just how we're going to do it. Um, but I, I saved what I took down. You know, the posts are still there, but I took the sign off so that I can, whatever I use next, I can line up the holes and put it back up easily. Um, but we're going to make up a new sign. It just, it looked bad. Yeah, I admit it. Um, and I just hadn't been out there and, and taken it down. Um, but it was just, you know, we had, we had made it. It looked good. It just didn't weather well. Um, but, you know, th this, this person, whoever they are and, and whoever's behind it, um, you know, whether it's just this one person or whether it's a, a group of people, uh, obviously have, you know, some sort of agenda. And, and everybody agrees. I mean, it's not just us being paranoid. Yeah. People that I don't even know are saying that they wonder what his agenda is. Yeah. So, we'll see. Um, hopefully, this will just kind of blow over at this point. You know, I am getting stuff cleaned up. We've got flower beds out there that, you know, it's winter time, so there's not really anything growing there yet. Although, there are bulbs that are starting to poke their heads up, uh, and in a, probably another month, we'll have all sorts of, of you know, flowers out there blooming, yeah. and it will look a heck of a lot different. And I don't cut things down in the winter. Yeah. Because we're a wildlife habitat. Yeah. I'm all about birds, butterflies, bees, beneficial insects, and a lot of them lay their eggs and they overwinter in all of that dead mess from the flower garden. You know, dead grass, dead flower foliage, whatever. And when you cut it back in the fall, you basically kill off all those beneficials. Yeah, and because they have nowhere to, you know, lay their, their eggs and, and, you know, produce another generation. So we tend to let things go and, and just let nature take its course. You know, we don't rake our leaves. You know, we don't, um, you know, manicure the yard exactly. You know, we don't spray fertilizers and, and weed killers. Um, you know, we, we let nature take its course because we are a habitat. You know, we let nature do its thing um, for the wildlife and for the, the uh the foliage. So, you know, we, we, we tend some areas, you know, we try to keep them looking nice, but a lot of it, we just let, you know, nature go. So yes, it looks weedy if you don't know what you're looking at. Um, but you know, like I said, we'll see what happens next. Um, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to, to talk a little bit about it and, and, you know, say, hey, you know, <laughs> this place is still going. We're, we're having work done. Um, you know, we've got, we've got plans uh, for the summer, um, possibly next fall. There's, there's more improvements that we're doing. 
but we can only do so much at a time. You know, we can only afford so much at a time. Um, you know, we can't just renovate the whole thing all at once. Oh, we could if we wanted to go into debt well, and take a chance of losing our home, which we yeah, don't. We don't want to do that. That's what I'm saying. You know, we can't do it all at once. So we're doing it in stages. And there are certain things that are taking priority over others. You know, there's some interior things that are taking priority over exterior things. Um, but, you know, like I said, 2018, we redid the roof. Uh, we put a new front door on last winter uh, and a new window on the uh, office. I put up a new storm door out there uh, in, off the office. Um, you know, we're, we're working on it in stages. So, but it is what it is. So, okay, enough of that. Um, once again, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below, and we will see everybody tomorrow. Stay safe out there.